Hey everyone, this is Friday's Facebook Live. This video is going to be on the 2019 Ryder Cup, the BMW Championship, and Tiger Woods' current state of this game. And we're going to be talking about how to make uh, more, more short putts. Okay, so the 2019 Ryder Cup. As of, say, Tuesday, I think everyone was pretty sure that Tony Finau was going to get the, that last pick for the American squad. And um, I think still it's looking like Tony Finau. However, uh, I thought about this the whole year, and I thought it was beginning this year, Xander Shoffley was going to be that, that, that guy that was going to get picked. He was looking really strong. Uh, he did finish, I think, second at the British Open. And, but he's kind of been a little hit or miss for a lot of the season. However, he did win the Tour Championship last year. He was the Rookie of the Year last year. And if he wins this week, that'll give him two huge wins in a one-year span, okay? So actually less than one-year span. So he would win the Tour Championship last year, and then if he won this week, he'd win the BMW this year. So that's two big wins against uh, the best players in the world, really. Um, you know, the best players in American soil and most of the best players from Europe are playing right now. So um, if he would win this week, it would be really interesting to see who Jim Fuchs is going to go with. Because if you look at this squad, this squad's got a lot of firepower. However, they don't necessarily have all the best putters in the world. And I love Tony Finau. He's a great person. I played golf with him. Super nice guy. And I think he'd be an awesome fit on the Ryder Cup. But you may want to be Jim Trick may be thinking, hey, Xander, I could pair him with more people because he can make some putts. And he does make some putts. And he can hit the golf ball really well, too. But if you paired him with somebody that, you know, takes care of a lot of the ball striking stuff, that Xander can kind of free him up a little bit. And we're seeing he can go low and he can back up a low number with another low number. Um, so dude's got some game, dude can play. So it's going to be interesting to see how this weekend shakes out. Uh, shakes out and to see what direction Jim Furyk's going to want to go in. Because I'm fairly confident with picking Matt, or picking Matt Kuchar as a vice captain that he thought going into this week that it was Tony Finau was going to be that last spot. And maybe now he may be having some second thoughts. Um, now, moving on, let's talk about the BMW and Tiger Woods, right? So the BMW Championship, it's an awesome golf course, really cool. It's at a run and and they have wide fairways. And if you're noticing, uh, a lot of guys that tend to spray the ball a little bit are doing a little bit better this week because fairways are a lot more forgiving. And you're seeing Tiger Woods, he, what did he shoot yesterday? Eight under, eight under 62 yesterday. And he backed it up today with an even par round. And so the main difference between yesterday's round and today's round was his ball striking. Because his putting, which was good yesterday, was uh, atrocious today. And we're seeing his putting struggle pretty much week in and week out, or at least not necessarily struggle, but, but, but worse than what he, we expect him to do. Uh, this week so far, he's uh, negative like 1.3 strokes game, game putting. So that's bad. That means he's given up 1.3 shots per round. And he's doing that, and he had a positive 2.2 strokes game putting yesterday. So that tells you how bad he putted today, shooting the even par rounds. He putted pretty terrible. Compared to the rest of the field, he gave up over three and a half shots putting today. That's horrible. And we're seeing that with Tiger. We're seeing some inconsistency here. We're seeing him try and figure it out. He's been experimenting with putters all year. He's tried several different tailor-made putters, and he's putted well with those tailor-made putters. But he went back to the Scotty Cameron this week, and, you know, he did putt okay yesterday. Uh, on the holes that I watched, he didn't make anything, and he didn't really make anything today either. So, um, yeah, we're just going to figure out kind of kind of what he's, uh, you know, what he's going to do to try and correct the putting stuff. I wouldn't say he's putting in a slump. I just say he's just not putting up to the rest of his game. His uh, iron play, his short game, is probably the best it's ever been. I mean, listen to this. This guy shot eight under par yesterday. Eight under par. And he only had 2.2 strokes game putting. He is eight under par right now with negative 1.3 strokes game putting. How good do you think how good do you think your ball striking has to be to pick up over nine shots on the field with your ball striking in two days? That's impressive. That right there is probably the most impressive stat you're gonna see. He's eight under par and he's negative 1.3 strokes game putting. That is a very, very impressive stat. 
So heading into the Ryder Cup, it's going to be interesting to see who Jim Turek's going to want to pair with him. Because one of the obvious guys that's putting really, really good all year long is Phil Mickelson. So we're going to see a Tiger-Phil matchup. Tiger's hitting shots close. Phil's cleaning them up. Or is he going to go in a different direction and pair him with somebody else like a Jordan Spieth or a Patrick Reed? I don't know. So it's going to be interesting to see how things shake up for the Ryder Cup. It'll be interesting to see how the weekend shakes up at the BMW. Now, this last part, we're going to talk about how to make more short putts, how to be better with your short putting, right? So here's my putter, and this is a little drill that you see a lot of players on tour do. You see a lot of uh, mini tour players use this drill, and you see a lot of better amateurs use this drill. And this drill is really simple. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can see that on the camera. Let me just double check to make sure. Um, yes, you can see that on the camera. So what I have here is I got two tees in the ground, right? And the tees I stuck in the ground are, are just outside the putter here, okay? And so what you want to do is you want to put a ball down, all right? You're going to put your ball down, you're going to put your putter between the two tees. And you're going to hit putts, right? You're going to hit putts between the two tees. So we just set up and hit the putt. Right? So we hit the putt. Let me get that out of there. And you're just going to hit some putts. And if you have an indoor space like this, you can do this for hours if you want. Um, but if you're outside of the green, don't do it for hours. Your superintendent will hate you. They may throw you off the golf course. So again, put the ball down, and we will just hit some putts. And you'll just grab another golf ball, and we will get a putt, right? And we'll grab another golf ball. And we'll hit a putt. And so that's all it is. This is, um, I believe this is what they call the gate drill. I call it the gate drill. And so again, you're just putting tees on the outside of your putter here, and you're hitting putts. And you'll know if your putter is getting, you know, offline, off plane, you're hitting, hitting tees, tee gets knocked over. Or if you come from the outside, hit the tee, the tee's gonna get knocked over, okay? Now if you're putting on a green, you're gonna hit that tee and it's gonna stop the putter. But on this, it's just going to slide right through and the tee's going to fly somewhere. But this is a great little drill to help you know, make sure that you're hitting putts solid and it's going to work on your stroke and it's going to help you with these short putts. Because solid contact is really important on these short ones. Because uh, a lot of times you're trying to take the break out, so you want to make sure you're hitting it solid so that ball is going to have a, a greater chance of rolling truer for you on the green. So that's an easy way to help you with your short putts. Uh, if you like this video, click like, 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 like this video as often as possible. If you have any questions, I'm going to check right now. If you watch this video later and you have any questions, go ahead and ask them. All right, no questions now, no big deal. If you watch this video have any questions, go ahead and ask them. Happy to answer them for you after the fact or in a later video next week. So that's all we got for you today. Thanks for watching.